Hello, I'm David D. Hilscher. I'm a critical thinker, dissident scientist, and I'm here to tell you the truth about science, something your university professors won't tell you, the mass media won't tell you, and certainly those science evangelists will not tell you. I'm here to start a series that I'm going to call Assumptions. I'm going to talk about an, what is an assumption. And this is from the late and great Neil Munch, one of the great critical thinkers of our time in the last 20 years. God rest his soul. He uh, passed away a few years ago, but he instilled upon all of us the need to state our assumptions right up front. When we write papers, we'll oftentimes list those assumptions so that people know what we assume. And what is an assumption? It's something you cannot prove. It's something that you believe to be true, but cannot prove. You have to start out with something like that. For instance, there is mass. Can you prove it? Well, here, here's this. Of course, it's right here. But then if you look at it and you go further down, you find oh, it's mostly space because it's made of atoms. And atoms are mostly space, so I can shoot stuff through this from any, all kinds of particles can go through this. And in fact, the assumption of what mass is, is really one of the hard things to comprehend. So though that's, that's an assumption. I'll give you one of the assumptions that we make in our particle mar model that we take from the great Dr. Glenn Borkert, Mr. Infinity himself. Infinity guru, there are no partless parts. That means I believe in that assumption that there is no ultimate particle, that there's always a part of something else. So if you find what you think is the ultimate particle wrong, there's going to be something else. That's an assumption. Now assumptions can can be uh, made on other assumptions and then we just start forgetting about where those things are. And that's one of the great problems with assumptions. Let's take for instance the Big Bang. We are pretty much now a mainstream science, the science channel, all assume the Big Bang is they said, yes, it's the leading theory until we something come, coming up, come up with something else. Well, how about there was no Big Bang and it's this big soup and we've, we see the birth and death of stars. Well, that's the argument against the Big Bang, but we assume it. Why do we have the assumption of the Big Bang, which now we just say, well, yes, it's a theory, but it's sort of assumed in, in mainstream science. It's because there's something called the redshift below that. So we assume, oh, there's a redshift. And what's that assumption? The assumption is, is that the redshift, things going away, it's sort of, sort of like our indication that everything is moving away from us. Pretty strange that we're in the middle of everything. How... How, how sort of how mystical is that that we happen to be sitting in the place where everything is red shifting away from us but that's an assumption the red shift is an assumption that the universe is expanding and all around us and we, we say that because if you go anywhere they'll say you'll see the same thing in the universe that's an assumption upon that assumption was built the Big Bang which is in itself become assumption and when you talk about red shift they here's the way the people who now used the the Big Bang as an assumption. They'll just say, well, we already know all that stuff. That's not interesting to us anymore. But it is very interesting. And so we have to be very careful about all the assumptions. The assumptions that the redshift is because of movement and expansion is an assumption. And there are many people, including myself, who say redshift has nothing to do with the movement. It has everything to do with the nature of light. But of course, mainstream doesn't know what light is. It's a particle, it's a wave, it's a wave particle, there's a duality. But thank goodness my dad has solved that problem. At least one solution to it. So again, assumptions. Redshift means everything's expanding. Then we build a big dang on top, and that sort of becomes an assumption in itself. I assume the big bang. And everything comes goes with it. Those are assumptions. Those are very important in science. When you think about everything that you believe in or you subscribe to, you need to think about what those assumptions are. And I'm going to take each of these bigger assumptions in, in mainstream science. The Big Bang, dark energy and dark matter, uh, space-time, plate tectonics and we're going to look at the assumptions and particle 
physics, one of the ones that they have a lot of assumptions in. We never talk about them. We just talk about them as they're if they're real. But assumptions, Neil Munch, thank you for pounding it into us because we need to know. And again, listen to what I say. Assumptions are those things that should be, in our book, impossible to verify. These are things that you know. There's mass and there's movement. Well, how do, there is. Everything's moving and there's mass. Those are assumptions. Some of the basic assumptions, for instance, in our particle model that my father and I are working on. But we need, if you go to examine the assumptions in mainstream science, you are going to find crazy assumptions and you're going to find things that are supposedly justified but may have actually other explanations. So all you critical thinkers out there, all you want to be critical thinkers, I want to pound this into you. Neil Munch, I am channeling him and he says, assumptions are those very base things that you assume that have no proof, but you're saying, I believe these things to be true. For instance, that mass exists. Well, I hope you got that idea. Think about it, but I'm going to give you lots of, of, of ideas and examples of this. I'm going to create a playlist just for assumptions. So remember what I say all to all of you. Do not take what anybody says on faith. Stay critical. Stay thinking. I'm Dave D. Hilster. I am your science evangelist, and I'm going to teach you all about assumptions in the coming weeks. Ciao for now.